Hey guys, uh, very, very much good morning, good evening, depend upon your time zone you guys are listening from. Uh, this is Vimal, I would be your uh, instructor in this training, right? Uh, first of all, very much fantastic cloud, uh, crowd, I can say, uh, over here. Uh, I believe according to my team, right? Uh, uh, I think the, we have around 200 uh, plus different uh, corporate guys, professionals uh, joining, right? I'm not saying 200 professionals, this is the huge number, uh, but almost all the top companies from Red Hat to Accenture, PwC, Deloitte, Google, <clears throat> right? 200 plus different companies, professional is joining in this training of uh, Git and GitHub, or you guys may be with me in the journey of DevOps, right? And plus a huge student crowd across the globe, mostly from India, obviously, uh, from different uh, uh, different uh, colleges, right? <clears throat> so, so uh, interesting thing is, uh, Priti, I think already uh, mentioned you over here. This is not the webinar. This is not just a, uh, just a work a workshop kind of thing, right? It's an intensive training program uh in git and github those who only with us with in git and github or this is the same training will carry forward in the devops track also because we have a specialized track on um, devops where we are going to cover multiple different component right from git github to jenkins to ansible to kubernetes to docker portman uh, Prometheus, Grafana, and many more. And the powerful thing is, these are the individual, individual component, right? Uh, that uh, connect uh, together. When we connect together, that is called integrate. It will solve a lot of powerful problems in the entire DevOps world, right? So there's a different thing, but we will do every component training individual to make you expertise in one component. So right now we are into the training of Git and GitHub, okay, where the plan is to give you an extensive, <clears throat> very detailed knowledge in Git and GitHub, right? And when I say very detailed, because uh, I think Preeti introduced me, uh, but it's been 19 or I think 20 plus year now uh, working with this industry, surf, in my career, I believe sort of almost all the top companies in the world with all the CXOs level of guys in their respective fields, right? So uh, there's a lot of thing uh, that is visible, right? Uh, in the market that is available in the document, right? But there's a lot of use cases, challenges that we face in the real world, right? Uh, as such, uh, there's no proper document available, right? Step-by-step -step document available to solve certain use cases in one of the particular technology, right? So document available of XYZ technology, for example, here we are talking about Git and GitHub, <clears throat> okay? Then they give the idea, they give the options, they give the command, okay? But if there's some, maybe certain use cases, uh, we have to do some tricks. We have to use some certain kind of internal uh, tips and tricks kind of things, right, to solve the exercise. So I've used um, and I figure out, I explore, research and come, you know, and, and seen a lot of different kind of uh, challenges or the use cases in the industry where uh, I use certain kind of tips, tricks and some of my secret to solve their challenges very quickly. So in this 16 hour of uh, Git and GitHub training, I'm going to show you almost all those tips and tricks okay obviously we're going to start the things from zero right because i believe most of the guys are very new in git and github or even though you guys are new uh, maybe you guys are experienced in git and github i have seen there's a lot of myth available right there's a lot of concepts that is not properly clear if i talk a very simplest concept that normally we cover in in one of the simplest basic level of training and Git and GitHub. For example, anybody who know about Git or Git Git tool, I can say. So we have multiple different area, working area, staging area, uh, commit area, right? So if I ask you, uh, do you know what is the exact use of staging area, right? We know we have to put the things on the staging area, 
Okay, but what exactly staging area do for you? Just to just I'm asking just a small uh, query, right? So uh, if you guys know, we have to do git add command to put the data on the staging area. But why we need a staging area? Why can't we directly put the data from the working area to the final commit area? So why we have one intermediate layer in between, right? Very simplest thing, but everybody following the things and the steps the way it has been <clears throat> given in the market but nobody tried to bother much to know the fact the power of the staging area and what exactly they do behind the scene there's just one simple one of the simpler thing i'm i'm, I'm referring right now right so like this like this there's from small to advanced for example go for rebash or stash or cherry picking or if you talk about merge uh, in the Git, we have a concept in branching. So there's a multiple different kind of merge strategy available, right? Octopus or recursive or XYZ strategy, right? Uh, so we know the merge, but in which scenario or which use cases, which merge um, strategy we have to use, right? Because every scenario, scenario thing will change or conflict, how we can resolve the conflict in the best possible way. So I think you guys have the agenda with you, uh, right? But uh, in 16 hours, uh, that is more than enough to expertise ourselves uh, in the Git and GitHub, right? If you have a proper plan created that I have with me and proper, uh, uh, you know, uh, we know the pick, pin point. There's the, there might be a lot of things that might be not useful in the Git and GitHub, right? So this is also one of the big challenge in the market, right? What happened, <clears throat> one big document available, but in this document, there probably some of the commands and options that is those options nobody used till date in the world, right? None of the projects we gonna use those, uh, you know, put a keyword. So there's no meaning to invest the time on those things, right? So we have to invest and focus on those area because now today's uh, we want a solution to be very quickly, right? We want things to be solved very much uh, uh, as in the best possible way in the best uh, form but but plus also quickly right so if you focus only on the main concepts what we need in the today's market and gonna gonna need in the future market if you focus on those area plus we we clear our uh, myth plus if you know there's some secret tips tricks to solve the things very quickly plus plus one more very powerful thing is because normally as admins or the IT guys, we uh, we focus more on, uh, you know, just knowing the things, right? Knowing the things means uh, we just wanted to know the command. For example, uh, if I want to do, give, remove file from the Git, we can use Git RM command. I know the command, I'll perform this command and thing done, right? Uh, but, uh, if you know what happened behind the scene, how the Git work, how the Git maintain the snapshots or maintain the, the data in the repository, right? If you know the internal concepts, right? Uh, for example, if you know how the Git actually has been created, what's the idea behind it, right? I'm not talking about the architecture, right? I'm talking about more about the internal development of the, of the, the Git tool, right? Uh, that makes more sense, right? Because you know what? There's maybe some certain scenario come up, right? Where what are the tool and options provided by the GitHub? They might not work the way we want to work. Okay. But if you know how the Git has been created internally or developed internally, right? By knowing the internal concepts, you might come up with a new idea. Or if you guys might be a developer, you are guys with, with, with the developer, you can give the idea to particular developer, uh, right? And say, can you add some extra feature on the Git code because it's open source tool. And this is the what we are looking for uh, that is not available maybe in that current version of the Git. So can we add that feature? <clears throat> because I know in the Git, they're using linked list or doubly linked list. They're using tree data structure. Uh, they're using certain kind of algorithm. So I know the idea, maybe I'm not the developer, but I can ask the developer, they can create for me that particular feature. So I'll try <coughs> to go in that level um, that I can show you, I can give the idea um, how this tool has been created, right? At the level of data structure level, we will go in this training, right? 
But one thing, guys, there is no prerequisite for this uh, training and Git and GitHub. Okay, this is one thing. So if you have no idea and Git and GitHub, there is no challenge, right? There is no prerequisite. This is one thing. Second thing is uh, uh, in this training, this training is purely practical or hands-on. I don't have any PPT. This is the only thing in the screen that you're seeing right now uh, with the masses of this training. Uh, otherwise, this training is pure practical, right? Almost 95% time we will invest on the practical and hands-on more you see with different use cases. I keep on explaining you multiple different use cases, multiple different problems or problem statements. I'm going to show you how to solve it. Okay, so pure, it will be your uh, fun part. <clears throat> Third thing is whatever possible in this world of Git and GitHub, I will, I'm gonna cover. Okay, what are possible things that we need in the industry? I'm going to cover from everything from very basics to all the expertise uh, level. This is also one thing. And fourth thing I already told you, this is the powerful tribe community we have now. Just only on Git and GitHub, we have a huge participants here across the globe from all the companies. So it's the best way to, to connect together, right? To, to learn from each other, to, uh, to, to you know, explain their use cases, connect connections for the further growth and X, Y, Z, because now we are a like-minded person in some one single platform. And I talk as this platform where uh, the intention is to give you a curated content, what industry need, sharing my knowledge, what I ex experience in this, <clears throat> in this, uh, in this uh, world of, uh, uh, you know, technology. I'm just sharing more, those knowledges to you. Uh, so this is called hash 13 community. Uh, under this community, we are performing uh, this training, right? There's a hash 13 is a part of Linux world. You guys might know about Linux world. So that was the whole idea. So without wasting the time, let me quickly go to the concept, right? Before this, uh, most probably you guys might uh, know about me, but maybe this is the first time you guys are connecting with me. So it's always good to know about the structure. So if you type my name, uh, Vimal Daga in the Google, uh, you will find tons of information about me, my TEDx speak, my uh, story cover in uh, XYZ magazines or newspaper and media, everything guys you will know about uh, me because we are the TPO technical guys. So you guys may be more uh, comfortable with the LinkedIn. So you will see all the projects, all the fields technology I worked on. Right, you can see from my uh, profile. Um, so, plus different way of my achievement, right? So, this, this is a very quick thing, right? Uh, otherwise, uh, <clears throat> it has been uh, known in the market. Uh, this is what a lot of technical guys see about me. I'm the uh, maybe the only one in the world who are, who are holding the maximum global certificate, right? In the entire world. So it's a, uh, it is a, uh, like a never ending list with certification from all the domain, uh, right? Almost all the domain and multiple world record also, it is there in my uh, portfolio. <clears throat> so, so very quick introduction, okay, about, about, uh, um, about me, right? So let's uh, focus on our main, um, main uh, area, right? Main uh, topic, right? So again, I'm repeating this training, <clears throat> okay, would be on Git. Most of the guys are also with us within the DevOps specialized track. So in the DevOps, there's a multiple tools. One of the tools is Git. So those guys who are on the DevOps track, the Git content will be covered in this training, right? <clears throat> then we have a separate class on Ansible, then again, we are starting today. Then we have separate class, class for Jenkins. I think you guys have the agenda with the timeline uh, we have already shared with you guys, right? 